Hello, welcome to the section of Circuit Analysis Tutor. Here we're going to continue learning about capacitors uh, in the context of the problem we just did on the board in the previous section. So in the previous problem we were given that we knew the voltage profile in three different windows of time. We know the voltage when T is less than zero is zero. We know the voltage between zero and one second is a linear ramp. And we know the voltage after one second off to infinity is an exponential decay. And then in that problem we just solved, we found the current at each one of these um, instants in time, in each one of these windows. We found the power at each one of these windows of time. And then over here we found the energy stored uh, at each of those windows in time. So the reason we did all that stuff was to give you practice with doing the math. Now what I'd like to do is just do a quick plot of these quantities on the board. So what we'll do is we'll plot the voltage, we'll plot the current, we'll plot the power, and then we'll plot the energy stored in the capacitor. And then you'll be able to look at these different windows and see what this math really means. Because calculating is great, but really I want you to understand physically what's really happening. So if you haven't watched the previous section to this one, please stop now and go back and look and see how we calculated this stuff. And then come back and meet me here and then we'll, we'll do the plotting. So, uh, what I'm going to do is do the plotting on this fourth board. I'll be shuffling boards back a lot so that you can see uh, what's going on. So, for basically, uh, for the top plot, this is going to be, let me see if I can make sure. So, I've got, that's one plot, two plots, three plots, four plots. That's probably about as big as I'm going to be able to make it. So, here is time. And then up here, you have uh, V and of course it's in volts, so voltage in terms of volts and in, 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 in so on. So what we're going to do is we'll have, let me go ahead and draw some labeling, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, we'll go ahead and leave it like that, we'll just go ahead and put six like that, and then in terms of this scale for voltage, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have four. All right, and so before we draw it, let's just go and refresh our memory to see what it looks like. So when T is less than zero, then it's just zero, all right? Now, after the clock starts between the time of zero and one second, it's a linear ramp. So this is four times T, so it's a linear increase in voltage. And then when we get to one second, it's an exponential decay from four it's an exponential decay. When you see e to the minus, and then pretty much anything up here, t minus one, I'll explain why it's that, like that in a minute, but e to the minus t, basically you can envision it slowly, kind of like a ski slope going all the way down uh, there. So what we're gonna do is draw those different windows right here. So in the first region, when, when it's less than zero, we wouldn't put zero here in red. Okay, so what we have here between the region of zero and one second, we have, I'm gonna go ahead and put a point right up here. I'm going to make this as straight as I can, which probably won't be very straight. This is supposed to be a straight line like this. And then we said after we get to one second, it's an exponential decay. And so what's going to happen after we get to this point is we have a nice exponential decay, something like that. Make sure you understand what's going on here. In this region, it's a linear ramp. That looks like a line to me. And then after that, it decays, right? So it decays. So it starts from a uh, basically a maximum value of four and then it decays. The reason we have t minus one here is because this is basically a shifted function and it's decaying from a starting value of one second. That's why it has t minus one here. So if I put one second in here, it's e to the zero, which gives me one, and then it's multiplied by four, so that means my maximum value is gonna start up at four. So that's why those 